Buying PVC cement can be kind of confusing because there's a ton of options out there to choose from. For example, there's one called hot blue cement, which is used for more aggressive PVC cementing and without moisture. And then there's all purpose cement, which is used for different types of PVC connections. There's also transition cement, which connects ABS to PVC. There's hot weather cement, cold weather cement, wet, hot, etc. There's a ton to choose from. So I just want to go over some of the basic properties, such as size to buy, the body type, the set speed, the color, just so you know how to make your purchase easier. First, I just wanna get this out of the way. What is the purpose of primer versus cement? So primer pre-softens the surface of the pipe and fitting before the solvent cement is applied so that maximum fusion can take place. So the primer just cleans and allows the fusion to melt together easily. You might wanna consider using this because it just makes the seal a little bit better and you just rub this on the inside and outside of your pipes. After your primer is set on, you place the cement, which is, which is these right here. You wanna shake your cement before you use it pretty good. And when the cement is applied, the pipe visibly softens, then solidifies as the cement sets to form a joint that's stronger than the surrounding pipe and its fittings. So the set time is the amount of time that you wanna leave your pipe before even handling it at all. And the cure time is the amount of time you want it to sit before any pressure can go through the pipes. As we discussed before, there's a few different options of types of cement to choose from. First, I wanna go over the sizing. So right here is a four ounce bottle, which is also just a quarter pint. And this will typically last you for about 100 fittings that are one inch. So you'll be able to go through about 100 fittings and cement them together, and then your bottle will be empty. If you have to do a couple more fittings, maybe around 200, then you're gonna go with the half pint, which is eight ounces. So this will be good for, but if it's 200, they also have to be one inch. This is all for one inch fittings I'm talking about. And then this is your biggest option we have, which is 16 ounces. This is a full pint. This will last you for about 400 fittings, but they also have to be one inch. Um, you can get bigger sizes for larger projects, but these are the sizes we offer. So for the body, first there's regular, medium, heavy duty, and extra heavy duty. This describes the cement viscosity. If your pipe is deformed or it's old or has scarring, you want to use a heavy duty body to fill those cracks and extra heavy duty for uh, bigger projects. We don't carry heavy duty because those are for large size commercial PVC work, but regular is the thinnest and medium is thicker and etc. The thicker the pipe, the heavier the cement you need. So regular can be used with pipe sizes up to four inches, medium goes up to six inches, and regular and medium are generally the most common. So next is your set speed. You have the option of very fast set versus fast set. These two right here are both fast set. And this one in the middle, the eight ounce, is very fast set. Generally, if you want a very fast set, you're gonna use it for projects where there's a lot of fittings. So you have to get those fittings cemented really quick and you don't have a lot of time to wait. So that's when you'd use a very fast set. Uh, and lastly, there's just the color difference. This is basically about preference. If you want a purple cement, uh, you can use that for showing that the inspector, like when they come through, they'll see where the cement is used on your fittings. They'll see all the purple cement used. And if you just want clear and you don't really care and you just want to cement it, then that's what you get that for. But there's a ton of colors to choose from. That's what the difference is usually. So you can purchase any of these cements at PEX Universe. Stay tuned for upcoming videos where I'm gonna discuss the difference between PVC pipes like Schedule 40, 80, and also DWV. And then I'm gonna cover all the different types of applications for PVC uh, piping. So stay tuned for that and like the video if you liked it.